This don't make no damn sense. The young man on the left, his name is Lyndon Cameron. He is 13 years old. He was shot several times by Salt Lake City police. On the right is his mom, Golda Barton. Golda Barton, she made a mistake. Golda Barton made a huge mistake for which she may, she may never recover. Unfortunately, it's possible Lyndon Cameron, her son, may never recover as well. You know what that mistake was? She wasn't drunk driving. She wasn't running with scissors. She wasn't playing with pyrotechnics. She wasn't wrestling mountain lions for fun. Her son, who's autistic, had an episode. You already know what happened, don't you? He had an episode. She couldn't control him. She called, uh-oh, uh-oh, she called the police for help. When the police came, the 13-year-old boy, Lyndon, got scared and started running. Do you know they shot him like five times? He didn't attack them. He had no weapon. His mom was there screaming, he doesn't have anything. He's just a boy. He needs help. They shot him They leave the boy in serious condition, condition with injuries to his intestines, his bladder, his shoulder, and his ankles. Barton says he was unarmed, and police said they didn't find a weapon at the scene. He's a small child, says his mom. Why didn't you just tackle him? He's a baby. He has mental issues. When I, when I say defund the police, is that making sense to you guys now? Oh, I, Tim, it's a horrible way to classify, doesn't, it? it's, people want protect, yeah, people want protection, you know what I mean, like, like Lyndon, right? That's what Lyndon wanted, he wanted protection, instead he gets to pee in a bag, possibly for the rest of his life, because grown ass men couldn't deal with a child. I don't know why they decided to shoot up little Lyndon, but they did. He didn't get the Dylan Roof treatment. Maybe he needed to shoot black people. Then they would have treated him well. That's what it was. He didn't kill black people or protesters. Yeah, that's what it was. He didn't have an arm. He didn't do like, uh, what's his name? Riff Riff Riffleson or Whittlehouse? Riffelhausen? That young Confederate bastard up there who who shot two and killed, shot three, killed two? Cops just let him walk by with a hand wave. Hey, man. That's what it was. Lyndon wasn't carrying a gun and hadn't just killed somebody. See, that's how the cops work. When you are a white kid and you kill people, all is well. Hell, I just told you the story of the naked killer who killed three who the cops took in with no incident after chasing him for a half an hour on foot like the Benny Hill show. That's what's wrong with Lyndon Cameron's story is that Lyndon Cameron hadn't killed anyone. If he had killed someone, he'd be fine. He been, they would have stopped and got him some Taco Bell, some Dairy Queen or something. I'm sorry, Miss Barton. You did too good a job raising your son. No, if you'd have left him in there to play with guns in his room, Build bombs. I hate to break it to you, but that's how America works for white kids. A white kid who just has no, has done committed no crime other than be born and have, an, have a condition. That's all he did, which, by the way, is not a crime. He gets shot four or five times. Make it make sense. Oh, well, what are you going to say? I'm racist? What, what, what's the word we're going to use to defend these cops? Go ahead. Just admit you don't care. Oh, he must have did something. Check his background. I'm sure he broke a number two pencil once. Or he skateboarded inappropriately at some point. 
I mean, I know what we're going to do, right? We're going to dig into his background, find the time he was shooting spitballs in class. Right? We got to we gotta come up with a way to demonize little Lyndon Cameron. Because that's the only way it makes sense, right? We have to demonize. No, we wouldn't do that. But that's what they did to Tamir Rice. Doesn't work with black kids. Black kids, when they have guns, even if they don't shoot somebody, they get their head blown off. Lyndon Cameron has a GoFundMe page. This is what's happening in your country. 